This is Electro Deli, a series of videos about components that are slightly nicer than your average part. And today, the delicacy is a switch. It's the shadow switch. It's a push button. It's a component that was fairly commonly seen in the 1970s and 1980s on devices like digital multimeters and um, recording studio equipment, music equipment. Uh, Shadow, I believe, is the manufacturer's name. Um, I think that later on they got in some way connected with ITT and I think they were branded ITT in later years. As far as I know, not made anymore, at least not by the original manufacturer. There was a whole range of them. This particular one, it's a momentary switch, so you press it and release it, and it makes and breaks the contact. It has a single LED, which can be lit up. Um, they were also available with two LEDs. You could get the red and green LEDs. This is before the days of combined red, green, and certainly before the days of blue LEDs. Um, it's a 3mm standard LED in there. Uh, on the back, you can see the contacts. Now, I believe these are changeover. So although you push it and release it, it clicks nicely. The contact actually changes over. Uh, one contact will close, the other one will open. The wire's there for the, uh, for the LED. Very stylish, I think. Uh, the, the, the button itself pivots. You can see that there's a hinge at the back here and the actual actuator pivots. Quite a nice little control switch for a front panel. Not waterproof or or even remotely protected. Quite, quite open in its design. Um, but a nice little front panel switch and you see them on Datron multimeters. For one uh, instrument that I've seen this on. Um, Rather nice, I think. Not made anymore, uh, but you can still get this. Now, this is a slightly wider button, but the body of the switch is about the same. And these things, I got this from AliExpress in China. And I thought, oh, that can't be as good as the original. But there it is. Um, Honey one. Uh, PB6, uh, PB86, I think that says on there. Um, PB86 is the thing to search for on AliExpress. There's the LED, there's the contacts. Again, they are changeover. One opens, one closes. The same hinge at the back there. Even the same nice click. Rather good, I think. Got a nice, got a nice clone of the original. Uh, shadow switch. Just for comparison, uh, here is a really poor... Um, this is the only component I think I've ever seen on RS in the catalogue where it just doesn't recommend it. It says that it's good for schools and colleges, but it really recommends against using it in any serious equipment. It's a very crude push-button switch. It works. It, it makes a contact. Um, it's got no click to it at all. Really quite a quite a poor example of a switch. And here, here is a typical modern uh, tack switch. Has a slight click to it, this particular one. Not terribly loud click. Um, it's got a little metal cover which can be earthed. It's a simple momentary push to make switch. But not a not a patch on the the good stuff. So there we have it. That's the Shadow uh, Changeover Momentary Switch, also available in a latching form that would latch down and have a kind of alternate click-on, click-off format, available with different coloured buttons, different coloured LEDs, different size. You could get them uh, slightly wider, like the, the modern Chinese one. Um, rather a nice bit of kit, I think. So that's today's 
component on the Electro Deli. Next time I'm going to have a look at a component which is quite literally gold-plated. <laughs>